Hi, it's Valerie of Our Homeschool Castle. So this is a collaboration with my friend Tanya over at Project Happy Home. So make sure to go check out her video after you watch this one. But we are doing upcycle sewing projects. So let's get started. <laughs> that my courage was never a drying well anxiety just a memory from some dark hell but here I am again and I knocked me down but square my shoulders flash the world so I met Tanya over on Instagram. She is also a, a homeschooling mama, a secular homeschooling mama, and she has um, a child with ADHD. So she talks about that a lot over on her channel. Um, but I found out that she also sews. <laughs> so I asked her if she wanted to do a video on upcycling, you know, something. That's what we're going to do today. And I wanted to make a game out of some t-shirts, kind of like entertain toddlers, entertain big kids too. I mean, big kids love these kinds of games. I will show you also step by step. So let's get started. I also want to mention that I was a contestant on an upcycle TV show, um, a TV show, meaning it's actually a YouTube show. Um, over on Blueprint DIY, so make sure you go check out her channel and subscribe. Um, the first episode comes out February 27th, 2021, and every Saturday for nine Saturdays after that. Um, there are nine contestants. We were chosen out of a, a large group of people to compete and make garments for ourselves out of jeans, like jeans... Um, jackets or pants, you know, jeans. And <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I only had one week to compete to um, finish my project. And um, that was what everybody had. So I'm excited to see what everybody made. But make sure you go over there and watch those. But also make sure to vote for me because <laughs> it's audience um, voting. Um, anyways, I will leave the link to her channel below. And I hope you check that out.
I got a little visiting. I had to sew together each strip and then kind of trim it where it wasn't matching up. And now I have to put the intersections together of the two right there, making sure that they match up. And then I'll sew those. <laughs> stitching each seam down you definitely don't have to do it um, I haven't finished on this side but it's a little tricky to do but I feel like it makes it lay flatter so that's up to you so you can just sew around the edges um, but I am actually going to serge it because I have a serger but you could just um, do a straight stitch as well, or put like a binding on it. Maybe even like I cut those strips of um, t-shirt, just fold it over. It doesn't have to be finished because t-shirts don't really unravel that much. Okay, so that long strip that I cut from the other t-shirt I'm cutting these little strips to create the X's. Um, and we're gonna do like the X's and the O's on the um, little bean bags. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I did nine of each since there's nine squares um, total. Not that you would use all nine of them, but it's better to have more than not. Perfect, worked out perfect take some tape and get some of the fuzzies off but I'm just gonna like sew this X on probably just zigzag would be fine just zigzagged around the X like that and then right sides together did three sides I'll put the beans in here and then fold it in and just top stitch it I thought about serging it but I don't think the serger is gonna work as well it's like it needs to be the stitches need to be short enough so that the beans can't slip out of it. Um, so that's how I did it. I might try a different way to do the X, but it seems to, I don't know, I kind of like it like this. So I also wanted to say that if you don't use black fabric like I did, <laughs> you don't have to do it like this. Um, you can, if you use like a white, or a color, you could just use a Sharpie to put the X's and O's. I just like to sew them. I don't know, it adds a little, you know, personal touch to it, I guess. But yeah, so I'm gonna turn them. I did all the X's. I actually have a couple, I only had enough for seven and not nine, which I think it'll work out fine. But now I'm gonna sew the O's and I think that that's a little bit more tricky because I'm gonna have to gather that circle in the middle. Also, if you do the corners, um, I do clip the corners to get all that bulk out, but then I, I don't use my scissors to poke it out because you can rip it so easily. I just use a safety pin or a straight pin and I turn it right side out and then I pull out that corner as much as I can. That's just me being particular as well. None of this stuff is necessary. It's just little tricks that I know to do. It's cute, I love it. Okay.
Okay, so I actually even made a bag out of the rest of a t-shirt <laughs> and I just cut holes and and strung some fabric through it to keep all the pieces. So here's the game board. There's green and black to so back a little. And Elsie's gonna play it with me. She wants to be X's. Mommy's gonna be O's. So she really liked that game and it's something good that we can try to play together. Um, she wanted to put it in a pattern more than actually play the game. So <laughs> I guess there's another way you can play with them, but um, it's gonna take some time to practice playing over and over again before she gets like how the game is played. I mean, she knows how to play the game, but she kind of gets distracted on you know, yeah. patterns and colors. And I didn't really think about that when I made it. Um, but yeah, I'll just have to just coach me. her. I keep coaching her on how to play. But they all had a lot of fun and it's something that was easy to make. You don't have to sew on the X's and O's like I did actually, that took a lot longer. I mean, it didn't take very long, but I think it would have been easier to just maybe use a fabric marker or fabric paint would have been cute too um, to make the X's and O's. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We liked it. So thanks for watching and make sure you go watch Tanya's um, video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.